Hi, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Um, today I am doing a reading for my Virgos. Hi, Virgos. Um, thank you for coming back. Uh, for those who have subscribed to me and have supported the channel, love you lots. Um, I also invite new subscribers, please. Um, definitely, if you can, hit the like button. Um, I would like the messages to go forth for those who need to really hear it. You know what I mean? So that would be great. Um, for those who are new, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card readings. And I also like to um, give out spiritual messages. Okay. Um, so first of all, um, before I begin... Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about the energies that's going on. Um, Mars is about to enter Capricorn, which is your fellow sign, Virgos. Um, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. There is a lot of Saturn, heavy, heavy Saturn energy going around. And um, I did my Capricorn and Taurus reading, which is your fellow Earth signs and those are pretty heavy in its own different ways, so um, I'm stoked to see what's going on with you guys. But I did meditate over your sign, and um, I don't know. I, I again, I feel I feel as if um, uh, I, I felt I sense heartbreak. That's for sure. I sense heartbreak. I sense people um, almost <sighs> being scattered, um, and, and and a lot of energies. A lot of, there's different energies going around. There's a Mercury retrograde going around um, in Pisces and Aquarius. Pisces is your polar opposite. Air, um, oh, sorry, po Pisces is your polar opposite. Virgos, um, so you do pull from the Pisces energy as well as Pisces pulls from your energy, okay? Um, so anyway, just go with the retrograde. It's going to be annoying sometimes, but it is a, a, a time to reflect. I know you guys are very extroverted people, at least um, most Virgos I know are very extroverted, and that's amazing. Um, and speaking of extroverted... <laughs> Um, I do want to um, let you know about a couple of things. Um, one of my good friends um, I went to high school with, uh, she's a wonderful, wonderful social worker. She's amazing. Um, and she is part of the um, Black Dow um, Initiative. It's a nonprofit organization uh, for the USA and Ghana. Um, and it's to raise awareness about the absence of black dolls in Africa. All right. Um, so if we could collect as many black dolls um, by the end of April, that would be amazing. I will leave the link to that um, organization, Black Doll Initiative, um, in my description box. Okay, so you'll get all the information there. And she's also a part of a wonderful foundation called the Yay Maker. The Yay Maker Foundation for Girls Mentor Girls. Um, I think that's amazing as well. <laughs> um, yeah, she's, 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 she was amazing in high school then. And she's doing great things now. Um, I don't know if she's a Virgo though. <laughs> but um, I did want it to help her cause and... And definitely just um, just send out the message out there okay okay um, I also I'm gonna leave the link to the insight and information I did on you Virgos a while back I mean like recently while back um, I thought that was great information for you to know <sighs> um, hopefully you find it interesting if you want more information um, and insight on you Virgos just leave a comment um, and anyway, let's see what's going on, okay? Um, in front of you, I do have my animal tarot cards. They're sort of my oracle cards. Um, Doreen Virtue. Um, she doesn't really 
it, she left the tarot community um, to follow um, her spiritual cause, and uh, and that's amazing, you know. So I have the animal tarot cards and my wildwood tarot. Okay, so that's what we're gonna start with, my loves. I hope everyone is doing well. All right, sorry, I'm still drinking my coffee here. I'm gonna start with my animal tarot. See what's gonna pop out for you folks. my dolls all right I don't read my animal oracles in the reverse <laughs> um, but I will read each and every one of them um, I have three cards in front of me okay I have the three of cups I have the spring of wands which is kind of like this the prince of, of wands um, in, adults, in, in the other tarot cards I also have um, the devil. Interesting. Oh, my God. The devil. If I keep seeing the devil <laughs> in these earth sign readings, I'm going to flip. Um, thank God you're the last one I'm doing. But the point is, yeah, I, I kind of knew that Capricorn energies are really affecting my earth signs. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, um, I am gonna clarify every one of them um, with my Wildwood Tarot cards, okay, that you see in front of you. <sighs> um, so the devil energy, just for those who are new watching tarot, um, the devil energy is earth. It does represent Capricorn, like I said. So earth um, is Virgo, you, uh, Taurus, and uh, Capricorn. Um, I invite you to listen to the Earth Energy, um, Taurus and Capricorn, um, if this one didn't resonate. Um, like I said, they were, um, they were very powerful, um, messages. Seriously, like, wow. Okay, whatever. Let's move on. <laughs> Also, you should really know your birth chart, folks. Um, I haven't said this in a while, but you should really get to know your birth chart. Uh, I do have the link in my description box. Um, it's astro.cafeastrology.com. It's very user friendly. Um, you know, it's the best thing to an um, the best thing close to an astrologer. <laughs> an astrologer will will charge you hundreds of dollars. Um, to read your um, birth chart. It's definitely worth it. I'm not saying it's not worth it. Um, they could give you a detailed information, but I would suggest you you just click on the um, birth chart website and find out what your birth chart looks like. You may have Virgo placements um, in your ascending, moon, Venus, Mars, um okay okay let's move on all right so the three of cups is clarified by the two of swords with the strength card in the reverse okay i'll show you the picks i'll read the energy in a little bit yeah interesting um i do that scale is kind of like popping out to me so i'm sorry i'm showing it to you in the reverse but <laughs> This is the Leo card, so you may know Leo um, or any fire sign, Aries, Leo Sagittarius, 
maybe um, in your birth chart <laughs> or someone you know. <sighs> Um, let's give me a moment here, my dolls. Mm. Um, I hate to mention this. Um, my condolences to those who um, just lost a baby. Um, and when I mean a baby, a fetus. Um, um, I, I don't think you were full term, um, whoever, of course this only applies to a small group, um, maybe two or three of you, but um, I, I, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, it happens, especially the first three months, um, but you know, that doesn't mean we give up and, and don't try and keep procreating. And that's a special part about being a human. Um, I do see a gathering um, of friends, family members, um, but the scale here, um, the scale um, on top of this woman, um, you may be in between two types of, I don't know, um, there may be something in your life that you may find unfair or you may want to fix in your life. Um, you don't know which direction to pick. Uh, I don't think you have made that decision. I still think that you were still um, trying to figure out which route to take, what journey to take in your life. Um, to me, it feels like it's either very spiritual. Um, so, um, you know, sometimes being spiritual is being selfish. Okay, and I hate to use that word, but you know, selfish is is you know could be linked to being egotistical but if it's if you're using it for self-love and self-development what the fuck i mean you you we're put on this earth for that <laughs> um not to not to praise or, or um you know follow people that uh, um you know that that Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't follow people, don't follow um, scriptures um, that make you become a better person is what I'm saying. Um, and listen, if that's what you do, that's what you do. I've done it at one point. I'm trying to come to a realization that I don't need those things. Um, physical things um, or people to make me a better person. Um, I think that, um, I don't think, but I, I know 100% that that comes from within me, if that makes sense to you, okay? Um, choosing your career um, over something is not bad either. <laughs> Trying to make more money in your life. Listen, you do what you need to do to, to survive. Okay, um, but I, I, I just feel that in this energy, you are picking something that weighs very heavy on you. Um, and it's like either one thing or the other. And this could pertain to people. Should I pick, you know, my ex or <laughs> a future lover? Um, whatever, whatever that is to you, whatever decision that is to you. Okay, my love? Um, now the strength being in the reverse, um, you know, I, you know, it's 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 a huge contemplation for you. Um, let's. I'm being curious now. When I do want to clarify the strength in reverse, um, what is the outcome? What is the outcome? Okay. 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 Yeah, I, 
you know, this could pertain to family, this could pertain to a job. Um, I don't see you. I don't see you um, going forward with a new idea. Um, you know, one thing about Earth energies is that um, you guys are very grounded. Once you make a decision, um, you're gonna stick to it, okay? Because you believe in foundation. So I have the 10 of Pentacles that came out in the reverse. And I also have the Fool. So this could pertain to either Aries, um, the Fool is also a Uranus energy. Um, Uranus, um, or Uranus, <laughs> I can pronounce it Uranus, um, is in the sign of Taurus. I was talking about um, the Uranus uh, being in Taurus and the constellation of Taurus for the new age um, before I did the reading. And I thought that one was one of the best readings, you know, as intense as it was, I think it was an, an amazing read. Um, however, Taurus, unlike you, um, needs to, you know, make that leap, make that jump to become greater. You, Virgo, something is, <sighs> there's something stagnating you. Um, Mercury is in retrograde, like I said, um, maybe it could be part of the reason. It does stagnate um, a lot of people, <laughs> um, but you know, sometimes it's good um, because people need to go within themselves, like I said. Um, so maybe this may be good, not starting something new or leaping into a, a, a new idea at the moment may be good for you. Maybe you need to go within yourself before you start any new relationship, um, new project, or, um, you know, maybe you're trying to buy a house. This could pertain to real estate. I, uh, you know, if, if something's not going well, um, if you're trying to buy a house and, and it's not going well, be patient. It wasn't meant to be. Or, um, Maybe Saturn is trying to teach you something. Saturn is karma, time. And it's good and bad karma. Karma is not always bad. Um, <sighs> so the outcome, if I have to say so, my loves, is introspection. <laughs> Oh God, did I use that word a lot yesterday with Taurus. Introspection, go within. And I did mention it in the beginning. All right, let's go to the Prince of, the Prince of um, Wands. Um, you know, by the way, go, going back to the Three of Cups, um, the card that I just clarified, I do want to read the the oracle. It does says it does say you have an exciting reason to celebrate. Such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. It also says remember to cherish those you love. All right, sorry I didn't read that um, before I went to the Prince of. Uh, wands but now let's go to the prince of wands it's a fire energy all right um the dolphin um i'll read the oracle before i clarify it an opportunity arises that needs your attention right away moving quickly is important yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance oh my god following your inner guidance that's what I mean by introspection but they they word it better than I did
Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the Prince of Wands is a younger energy. Um, it's not the King of Wands, the King of Wands, which is a Leo energy um, or any fire energy. <sighs> It's a younger version of the King of, of, of Wands. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on. Um, so we have the Page of Swords. Cute. Um, and we also have the Four of Pentacles. Um, it came out in the reverse. Um, mm. Uh, yeah okay there's something you're not letting go or some someone or something um you're not letting go or this could be in the reverse virgo someone does not want to let you go <laughs> um with the page of swords Here, mm. I, I, you know what? I, I do feel timeline wise that you may come to some enlightenment. I think you're either going through it now, um, or will be before the winter ends. Oh my God! You're, 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 you're going. And I hate to repeat myself, but you're going within. Um, it's like almost like the universe is literally pushing you to go within. Like, no, 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 we're not starting this new project. No, 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 we're not, you know, starting a new relationship. No, 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 we're not making huge purchases right now. I need you to go within. Um, and look at this cute Ren. Um, you know, it's it's by itself. Um, it's It's... It's trying to basically, you know, survive in, in the cold air. Um, you know, most birds do fly south for the winter, but this one just stayed behind. Um, you know, again, I also sense... Um, for for those who have lost a pregnancy um this is so this is such a heavy energy and i don't really want to talk about it i'm sorry if this um offends anyone i just i just feel like someone did lose a recent pregnancy or it might have not been recent um but it is still affecting you um, and I don't know how far along you were in your pregnancy or, or if, if you're a man and, and your spouse or lover lost the baby. Um, <sighs> it's going to come back. It just wasn't the time. Okay. I uh, can't believe I got that message through these two cards. Okay, let's move on. Um, but I'll read the King, the Prince of Wands again, the Oracle, um, after I clarify it. I, I should have waited till after I clarified it. But it says, an opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Um, so moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. Um... It's, it, it seems like something really needs your attention. Um, and that's something that you may be very passionate about um, that makes that's making you restless. But at, at the same time, it, it's, it's something that makes you extremely confident and charismatic, that extroverted energy that I was talking about with you, virgins. Um, yeah, and look how enlightened, I don't know if you could see it, but look how enlightened this dolphin is. That's what I want for you. And I guess that's what the universe really wants for you. <laughs> um, okay, all right, let's move on to this devil energy. Okay. All right, 
So my Siamese cat is my devil energy in my um, animal tarot cards. Um, <laughs> look how cute. You're still cute even if you, if you are called the devil. Uh, look at all those. The funny thing is that Capricorn is really not like um, an energy where it's like a show off as far as you know material gains. Um, it, you know, um, Capricorn, um, the tenth house, is really known to be all about legacy and status, career, showing off jewelry and cars and stuff like that. I mean. That's something, you know, if they have the money for it, they'll do because status is very important to them. But being bougie like the Siamese cat, it's not it's not something um, Capricorn will do. So I think it's so cute um, <laughs> that they uh, did that. Oh, my God. You, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Earth energy. You guys are... <sighs> I'm done with the earth energies. Um, <laughs> I'm so done. I can't, I can't. So I have the devil that came out again in the reverse to clarify the devil. And I also have the chariot. Interesting scenario because um, it came out this way. So the chariot is cancer. It's in major arcana, as well as the ego, um, which is the devil in, in my animal oracle cards. <sighs> the devil over here, these are my wildwood tarot. The devil over here is also major arcana. So you got three major arcanas. One is the same as the other one. The devil clarifying the devil, okay? Um, however, these both two these two of these cards came out. Both of these cards came out in the reverse. So we have Cancer and Capricorn in front of your face. It is the one and the seven in the zodiac sign, meaning it is your polar opposite. So, um, sorry, I feel like I'm talking to Capricorn. <laughs> Shit, Capricorn is gonna really enlighten you um, in the coming months, Virgo. Um, what I meant to say is Capricorn and Cancer are polar opposites of each other. Okay? Just like I said in the beginning, Pisces is the polar opposite of you, Virgos. Okay? They do pull from each other's energy. Um, I think you're done with something, honestly, something toxic. Um... I think that um, this woman, I don't know if you see her, um, the chariot pointing that arrow straight at that um, bear, that skeleton bear, uh, bear skeleton, sorry, my grammar is not the greatest. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, as soon as she hits that arrow on those bones, it will collapse. And she looks like a pretty good archer to me. Um, so <laughs> you're ready to literally let go um, of something that you might have, um, that, that's very dear to you. I and mean, it could be a karmic relationship. Uh, that's what I sense big time. Uh, we all have karmic relationships. All of us, soulmates, could be our karmic relationships. They're here to teach us a lesson, okay? To level up. And um, my Capricorn insight and information that I did a while back, you know, and, I've, and I said this to, to my Capricorns. <sighs> if we don't have this type of stagnant or karmic relationship, if we don't, you know, go through the hardships in life and the heartaches. Um, how are we supposed to grow spiritually? How are we supposed to get to know ourselves? Um, 
And her pointing that arrow at that bear, um, the devil energy, is telling me that um, she's over it. And even if I say she or he, um, folks, please don't take it literally. Um, masculine and feminine energy is within all of us. Um, I'm just saying she because she's a she in the image, but um, there is no gender when it comes to tarot cards. It's gender free. You may have people um, judging you, judging your lifestyle, um, or cr criticizing at the very least. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you see this cute little bear um, looking <laughs> at her. <laughs> She's like, I'm about to blow this out of the, you know, cave. I'm blow, about to blow this toxic energy out of the cave. And the, the bear is like, um, you sure you want to do that? You know what happened last time? Um, yeah, but she's very focused. Okay. Oh my God. I, I just want to just clarify it with one more, folks, if you don't mind, because these are three major arcanas. And, um, oh God, that is, that was that's heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Virgos, but interesting. Um, I have the Empress in reverse. Yeah, I think that you're not willing to participate in in toxic relationship. I think that you're you're, even though my Empress came out in the reverse, and uh, the Empress means abundance. Um, and that could come in, in many different forms. It, it could come as a family, has friends. Um, it, it also can mean um, money or, you know, anything um, that's fruitful and abundant. The Empress is an earth energy. Um, she, she's also um, represents Venus. You may have, um, if you look at your birth chart, you may have um, either Libra or Taurus in your in your Venus placement. Um, right now, Venus is in Aries. Um, I think that um, if you are in a relationship, um, Virgos, <sighs> you literally may end up leaving this person because at, at the moment you don't feel like an empress you want to become an empress um an empress does not mean i'm talking to women remember it's uh that's four major arcanas i mean that this is ridiculous it's like being <sighs> these cards are being clarified by major arcana after major arcana after major arcana after major arcana that is very symbolic of the energy that you're going to be going through or are going through right right now oh my god another one <laughs> this is my... i'm done i'm done with you virgos um but it's a, it's a great energy to to leave off um the temperance card came out in the upright um the temperance card is a sagittarian card um, what does Sagittarius mean, the ninth house? Well, again, spiritual enlightenment. Your angels or ancestors looking after you. Yes, I know you see two little serpent dragons, <laughs> or dragon serpents, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you know what? They're, they're wrapped around a tree. Um, this this tree um, bark of a tree uh, it's grounded um, as you could see um, this is like you know if you look at the background I mean there's roots after roots branches after branches trees after trees um, this is you know even though it's a Sagittarius energy I you know 
the the temperance card is a fire sign I just I'm thinking about um, Jupiter energy um, I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think Jupiter right now is in Capricorn um, but don't quote me first um, don't quote me folks <laughs> it's what I want to say um, yeah because Saturn is is Saturn which is which represents Capricorn uh, or which rules Capricorn is, is it's in a few planets it's in I know I keep mentioning Capricorn and I know I'm reading for Virgos I know I know I know I know but it's affecting the collectives it's not just affecting Capricorn it's not just affecting Taurus it's not just affecting Virgo it's this energy literally is affecting the entire collectives in some shape form or another okay may not be the same story may be different stories but it is a symbolic um, significant change in people's lives right now it's not it's not a joke it really is not a joke and this is why I don't really like to go into astrology <laughs> too much um, because number one I'm not an astrologer I do study a lot of astrology I do um, but this Jupiter energy I just sense blessing um, or like I said um, you're being looked after um, by someone who has passed um, this could be even you um, Virgos this could be like the past you you know like I used to be this way but I'm not this way anymore um, so I, I don't know like when I see these two serpents I feel like one was you but now there's a new you and and serpents are known you know or snakes they're known to shed their skin right you know and, and and they're reborn and that's such a very scorpionic energy um but but a tr death, death and transformation um that's something that's i that's gonna happen to you um needless to say it's there's gonna be a a, a walking away um for you to to be transformed and and, and, and open up a, a new chapter in your life. I hope that helps. <laughs> I hope that I was clear. Um, I do um, have private readings, um, but let's read the, um, just email me if you want a private reading is what I wanna finish saying. But let's read the oracle card um, for the devil, okay? It says, you may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. Yeah. That clarifies all the arcanas that came out. I mean, look at this. The chariot, the devil, the empress, and the temperance or balance card. This is all earth signs, um, and then we have water and energy. I'm sorry, water and um, fire energy. The only thing that's missing is air, is your logic. Your thoughts and ideas may be scattered. Virgo, um, don't be afraid of it, okay? I know you're gonna feel some type of emotions. Um, I know you're gonna feel some type of intellect, you know, um, as far as, you know, being grounded. <sighs> um, you know, your foundation, it's there. Um, I know that um, you know your drive and ambition are still there. They are, but um, you're gonna feel as if you're not yourself. Once in a while, you may wake up not feeling yourself, and that's okay. I want you to embrace the energy because the the universe, as you can see, is making a change for you that you have no choice. 
but to accept. All right. Love you lots. Bye.